welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to crochet this super cute and easy strawberry it's a 3d one so you can use in many different ways for example as an applique or as a pair of earrings you can hang them like this so this is what we are going to learn in today's video so i really hope you like it and now let's begin with the tutorial So I'm going to be starting with a magic ring and then I'm going to chain one in which is not going to count as a stitch and then I'm going to be creating six single crochets around the ring. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six now I'm going to be closing the ring but not too tight just yet so leave the end here and then I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet the first one leave the middle like this for now because it's easier to crochet around the ring and then we can just make it tighter at the end or once we have a couple more rounds completed. We are going to be working continuously around, so we are not going to be slip stitching. So we are going to be using now a stitch marker. So now to move into the next round, you're gonna go into the next stitch, and then you're going to be creating one single crochet, and then you want to place a stitch marker into this stitch. And then into the following stitch, we are going to be doing two single crochets into that same stitch. So it's going to be an increase. Now one single crochet into the following stitch and two single crochets into the next stitch. One single crochet into the following stitch and then to finish it off, two single crochets into that last stitch. Now remove the stitch marker and one single crochet into this very first stitch. Well, into the next stitch because we are working continuously. And then you want to return the stitch marker into this very first stitch. So this is always going to be the first stitch. So the single crochet with the stitch marker counts as the first stitch. So the next one is going to be one single crochet. And then the following one is going to be two single crochets into the same stitch. And now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next two stitches and then an increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into the next two stitches and increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the same stitch. Now remove stitch marker and one single crochet into that stitch, return stitch marker. So this one is going to count as the first stitch. So now into the next two, one single crochet and then increase into the following one. So two single crochets. Now one single crochet into the next three stitches and then increase into the following one. So two single crochets into the same stitch. And now one single crochet into the next three and increase into the last one. So two single crochets. So now we have to increase one more time before we do something different for the strawberry. So we are going to be starting with one single crochet into the stitch where the stitch marker was, return stitch marker. And now we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then the following one is going to be increase. So two single crochets. 
and now it's going to be one single crochet into the next four stitches so one two three and four and then increase into the following one so now one single crochet into the next four stitches and then increase into the last one so two single crochets into the same stitch and now we are going to be doing one single crochet all the way around so it's not going to be having any increases for the next round so going to the first one single crochet return stitch marker and then single crochet all the way around into every stitch So once you have the first six rounds completed, we can now close the bottom just by pulling the end really nice and tight. So now we have the bottom nice and closed and now we can continue. So we are going to be doing the next one with increases. So now it's going to be five single crochets and increase into the following stitch. So starting with the first single crochet return stitch marker and then we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next four stitches so three four and five in total so we have here the five single crochet so one two three four five and then increase into the following stitch so two single crochets into the same stitch and now we are going to make one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then increase into the following one. So now one single crochet into the next five stitches. and then into the last one, increase. So now we are going to be making the last round with increases. So it's going to be the first single crochet here at the beginning, return stitch marker. And then we are going to be doing one single crochet into the next five stitches. So it's going to be six in total here at the beginning. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then increase into the following one. Now one single crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase into the following stitch. And then one single crochet into the next six stitches. And then increase into that last stitch. Now we are going to be removing the stitch marker and we are going to single crochet all the way around before we start with the decreases. So create the first single crochet, return stitch marker, and then single crochet all the way around into every stitch. So now we are going to be doing two rounds with decreases. So let's go into the first one. So remove the stitch marker and now decrease into the following two stitches. So you're going to be inserting a hook into the next stitch. You're going to pull up a loop, keeping that on the hook, going into the following stitch, 
pull up a loop, keeping that on the hook, and then you go into yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's a decrease, and we are going to be doing decreases all the way around into every two stitches. So decrease into next two, decrease into following two, and then repeat the same all the way around. And then here we have the last two, so decrease into those last two stitches too. Before we do the next round of decreases, we have to do the little seeds around the strawberry. So let's do that first before we add the stuffing and also the last round. So get the yellow yarn or any other shade you want to do the seeds. You don't need a lot of yarn. And thread this yarn into a tapestry needle. We are going to be starting at the bottom of the strawberry and working our way up. So go into the inside of the strawberry and then you're going to be choosing one stitch right at the bottom of the strawberry. So go through that stitch at the bottom. And then you want to leave a nice end here on the inside. So just leave it on the inside like this. And then to secure this in place, you're going to go into a stitch just above the previous one. So I'm going to do this one and then go into that same stitch that you that you did previously like this and then go through that once and then another one following the same step so going through the two last stitches that you did and then this locks the yarn in place so now for the following one you want to insert at the top and then you want to come out into another section so you can already do the next seed so just like that. So now choose another stitch just below this one. So I'm going to do this and then go back into that first one for the next seed. And then you're going to go through that three times. But then the third one, you're already going to go into the next seed that you're going to be doing. So go into the bottom and come out into another section so you can do the following seed. And then you're going to be doing the same thing. Choose another stitch from the bottom and then go through this two, three times. But then the third, you want to already choose another section to do the next seat. So now you can see we have a seat here, another one here. So I'm going to go a little bit up now so I can move into the next section. So right here. And then I can do my next seed here. The third one, I'm already going to move a little bit more higher. So I have my yarn here. Now I can do the next one. And now I can move into the following one. I can do one right here. So now you're just going to follow the same steps until you have the number of seeds that you want for your strawberry. So I have run out of yarn now, so I'm just going to move this yarn to the inside of the strawberry and I'm going to leave this yarn here on the inside. And if you want, you can just make a little knot with these two ends so that is not going to be moving around the seeds. So I'm just going to make a knot here on the inside of the strawberry with both yellow ends. There we go, like this. Now turn on the right side again, leave both ends on the inside of, of the strawberry. And now we can continue with the decreases. So make sure that you place a stitch marker into this very last decrease. 
So now we can decrease into every two stitches going around. So next one and following one and decrease. And before you close completely, just add the stuffing inside the strawberry. You don't want to add too much, it's just a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with this. So now just continue with your decreases all the way around. So now we are going to decrease into those two last stitches. So remove the stitch marker and just decrease into those two last ones. Now all we have to do is to chain one, leave a little bit of yarn so that we can close the top. You don't need a lot. And then fasten off and thread this yarn into a tapestry needle. So going to the next stitch and the following one, sew them together. Next two, sew them together. Next two, sew them together. And then last two, sew them together. Pull nice and tight. Now we can secure this in place by going into a little stitch like this. And then you're going to go through that stitch twice just to secure this in place like this. Pull nice and tight. Now you're going to do a last one, but then you're going to leave a little loop at the end. Go through the loop to fasten off. And now you can just hide this yarn inside the strawberry. So go through any stitch on the side and then choose any other stitch here on the other side by going through with your needle like this. Don't pull too tight and then you're going to choose another stitch that is not that same one. So just beside it and go backwards and then just do that one more time. Just like this. So hide it inside the strawberry. So now you can just cut off this yarn and we are done with the red part of the strawberry. So this is how it looks like. So now we have to do the little leaf that is going to go here on top. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be using this green yarn. And we are going to be starting with a slip knot. And then we are going to be chaining five. So one, two, three, four five skipping the first stitch going into the following one single crochet and then you go into single crochet all the way down so now we are going to be using this last stitch to create all the other leaves that is going to go around you will see what i mean <laughs> so we are going to go into this next stitch so go into that and then you go into single crochet and then you go into chain five so four and five skip the first stitch go into the next one and then single crochet and then single crochet all the way down so we are going to be having four single crochets here so three and four and then you go into slip stitch into the same stitch. Just like that. So now we are going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then skip the first one, go down with single crochets. So following the same steps as the one we did previously. And then slip stitch into the same bottom stitch. And now we are going to be doing one more. So chain five. 
and then skip the first one and go down with single crochets. Now a slip stitch into the same bottom stitch. So let's just make one more because then we have five going around. So chain five and then go down again with single crochets following the same steps as the one that we did previously. And then you go into slip stitch into the same stitch. It's going to open it up a little bit, but don't worry about it. So now to do the one in the middle that is going to be sticking out, what you're gonna have to do is just to go around the bottom. You can see I'm going to slip stitch around here, for example. You can do any other. So go in between two leaves like this, and then you just go into slip stitch. So the yarn is more kind of in the middle. So now from here, you're going to chain five and then you're going to do another one here. So skip the first one and then see a crochet going down. And then you're going to slip stitch into the bottom slip stitch that we did like this and now you will see that this one is going to be right in the middle and then the others will be around this one in the middle so just like this so now you're just gonna have to chain one and then cut off the yarn and fasten off And then you can just make a knot with these two ends that you have here at the bottom. So I'm going to be cutting the shorter end because we are not going to be using this one. And then I'm going to thread this other that I have here into a tapestry needle. And now we can sew this in place. So remember the one that it's sticking up. So this is my one. And then place exactly where you want. So I want it here. So just go through any stitch of the strawberry at the top so that we can secure this yarn in place. Like this. And now you're gonna go through one little stitch of the green. Okay, so the yarn is now secured in place and all you have to do now is to go through one little stitch of the green like this and one stitch of the strawberry. So one stitch of the green into the following leaf. Sew that in place and then one stitch of the strawberry and then just go around sewing this in place make sure that you leave one right at the top so it looks like a strawberry like this look at this oh my goodness it's just the cutest thing ever and then I'm gonna go through this last one in which was the first one one more time just so that I can secure this nicely in place and now we can just hide this yarn at the top here of the strawberry so just go back and forth into different stitches until you have hidden this yarn underneath the green but make sure that it's not showing through the red through the strawberry do one more time just do right underneath the green as you can see so that's all hidden in place now I can just cut off this yarn and the strawberry is now completed oh my goodness <laughs> look at this 
So this is how you crochet a super cute strawberry. You can use this in many different ways. You can use as an applique or even for a pair of earrings. You can hang them like this. Imagine how cute that would look, a little pair. And I'm pretty sure everyone is going to love it and ask you about it. So yeah, this is how you make this super cute little 3d strawberries so i really hope you liked it and if you do make it don't forget to tag me on instagram so that i can see your take on this one and what you're going to be using it for so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video Bye bye